Hey guys, it's been a minute. Yeah, I know I haven't put out a video in a little over a week. What do we have here? All this. M390. DHRC with M390 being low, it's just taken off. A few of us have been talking about it for, for months and months now. I will say, out of everything that you see right here, and thank you, Lee, from Love Them Knives, sent the Viper Balloon in M390 and his Shuffler in M390 for edge retention testing so that I can have those data points also. I want to build a large M390 database with Rockwell, to accompany how much each particular sample of M390 cuts. This one has not been cut with yet or Rockwell tested. Even though you haven't seen some of these, this one's all done. The MODIS is all done. You've seen the Suru. You've seen my dividend. Ryan Clunan, and thank you, Ryan. His Riyadh is done. You've seen my Unicorn 62 HRC PM2. Because the particular HRC number for the Viper did not stand out, I, I don't remember what it is. I'm not going to go back and look. I want to go in fresh to get cutting data with this. This is a rare case. I don't know what to expect out of it. You know, it's 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 just a totally rare case off on its own. Now, I do have another Riot off with Kurt right now that I did start cutting with. I already know what it's capable of doing. Thanks to Josh Burkhead. We're going to get an HRC on that one also. But what I need is to help fill in some of these gaps right here. So... Any of you that have M390, any brand of M390, even if it's something I've already done, if you're willing to loan it to me so that I can cut with it and send it to Kurt to get a Rockwell score on to build that M390 database, I'd, I wouldn't even know how to thank you. It's been a community effort so far. I'd like to make it even more of a community list and get some more people involved so if you have m390 and you're willing to let me test it and let kurt test it to add to that database i would really appreciate it a lot of you guys know how to contact me already instagram facebook my email is always in the description any that you guys are willing to let me borrow. And Lee is going to send me some more M390 to help build this list also. Please send it to me. Contact me first so, so I don't just have something showing up. But I will get it done and turned around and back to you as fast as possible. I really want to build this up and, and find out. This video isn't to to talk about HRC, what it should be, what it shouldn't be. This this is about building the database that will benefit all of us. A group of us were talking about it today, and all the information from Bowler on M390 is for industry. It is not for cutlery. That's a big reason why I want to do this. I want to understand it better. I want to know where M390 comes alive. Is it 59? Is it 62? Is it 60.5? That's that's something I'm I'm really curious. As much as I hate to do it, I'm going to liquidate some of my sprint runs and 
pick up an M390 Shirogorov to test, I will, I'm almost positive after I test it, I will sell it. But I want to get that data point. I've heard too many good good things about the grain structure of Shirogorov M390 from Roman. If you don't know who Roman is, go look at his channel. K Knives Switzerland. Roman's an up and coming maker who's doing awesome stuff. But help me build this database. Before I go also, and BJ Hill started this, he gave me a really good idea when he originally sent this for testing, and we got to talking more and more, and he said, when I'm done testing it, do whatever I want with it, give it away, break it, do whatever. So what, what I'm going to do is... Any knives like this that are donated to the channel, once I test them, I will send them to Kurt, get a Rockwell number on them, and I will, any donation knives, there'll be giveaways for. There'll be a video for each one. Can't say how long I'm going to leave them up, but I am working on this. This will be done, hopefully, totally, from Kurt and all in the next couple weeks. And we'll get this up and get this given away. So, thank you to BJ Hill. As soon as I test this, this will be going to a new home to somebody else. That's all I have for M390 right now. We've been talking about it a lot. I want more data before... I'm not even going to say it. I just want to build the data pool right now. After seeing how this cuts, and I have a pretty good idea what the HRC is going to be on this, I have a really good idea around where M390 should be. Now, I want to go ahead and tell you guys that are worried about M390 being brittle at a higher HRC or chipping, or anything like that. I had this knife a year, maybe even more than a year, before I ever sent, before I ever cut with it or, or sent it to Kurt for testing. I had no idea it was 62 HRC. I, I used this as a beater knife. This did all the stuff that I didn't want to do with other knives that might damage them or, or anything for that matter. I did not experience any chipping, edge rolling, or anything like that. I mean, keep in mind, I'm not cutting wire and stuff. But if there was any task I did, any cutting I did, where I thought somehow, you know, something else I was carrying that I liked a lot more was going to get damaged, this one got it. And I was really surprised when it came back at 62. And from what I did with it, it it's M390 at 62 HRC does not seem to be. But there doesn't seem to be an issue with brittleness, especially something like this that's like 21 thousandths behind the edge. Just it's just not an issue. So that's all I have. I'd appreciate any loaners. I'll process them as fast as I can and get them back to you. I'll be sure to give you guys credit. And I am going to work on putting some kind of thank you pack together for each person who sends a knife, M390 knife in as a loaner to help me build this database. I've talked long enough. You're going to see the modus very soon. That video just has to be edited. You're also going to see this re -op very soon. That just has to be edited. That's all I have for right now. As always, I appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.